Nine former Woodmode employees sat down with the Daily Item and each other for the first time since the plant closed back on May 13th. It started in November of last, was it last year, yeah. when they took us to the meetings and said, you're not getting your Christmas bonus, you're not getting this, 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 and this. The day after we had those meetings was when the firm, we called them our partners, we don't, the, the got two guys from Boston. They were there ever since the day after we had that meeting. It was my understanding that it was on bank control and yes. who paid what, and what was paid and how much was paid. And we've never recovered from the recession. That's really the bottom line. We've never recovered from it. We still have outdated equipment. We still mm -hmm. have outdated computer systems. Oh, mm -hmm. The only thing that's kept it going the past 10 years are these folks and 900 others. That's the only thing that's kept it going with the skilled craftsmanship knowledge, Kramer knowledge, KK, you can put that in, is everybody in the book? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kramer knowledge. Kramer the week before we closed, there. I asked Tim Hamaker how we were doing, and Tim said, we're doing well. We have $12 million backlog right now, 1.4 to 1.6 million coming in per day steady. Julie logged a million dollars worth of orders on Monday the 13th. Yep. There's he said, we're, he said we're, do, we're actually doing pretty well at steady. At the end of 2017, you got a $22 million kickstart. The beginning of 2019, you're closing your doors. So somebody couldn't have done something effective with that, that kickstart money and started saying, okay, we have to cut back here, we have to cut back here. We <laughs> dealt with Valspar paint for years, mm -hmm. and they switched it over to PPG, and it was horrible. Absolutely Two years, horrible. They knew it, it was bad. It, it was bad. I worked there where we actually mixed it, Put it into the machine everything got painted the paint would peel right off the paint was gritty was gritty the paint was see-through so they would adjust the paint and say it was going to be fine we couldn't work in summer conditions so we had to have paint that was labeled summer paint oh. winter paint but oh my God. summer paint oh, yeah. you know and then they, they investigated the whole thing and tried this and tried that said it would be fine it would be fine no matter what the office people kept saying it would be fine it wasn't fine. We're down on the floor. We can see it's not fine. We gave kitchens away because the paint was no good. The Woodmote Facebook group has drastically increased its membership, while the community outreach of support for the workers has continued. But since the closing of the doors, I have received um, a lot, probably a dozen or two friend requests from the de from the dealers, and mm -hmm. you know, reaching out in that way, and they're beyond devastated it has ruined so many lives mm -hmm. you know that were exclusive wood mode and now they have no product to sell you know you, these food banks you go to a food bank you say you work at wood mode you show them your pay stuff they're giving us like a week's worth of groceries i mean you know it's tumbling we I, I just it's it's it, that just goes to show you how much of an impact wood mode has on this Joel community East, i find i have to um walk away from the facebook yeah. I, do sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, do I did this weekend because it was becoming overwhelming yeah. for me and I didn't have any information and I felt I almost feel guilty because I've, I've, made, I've made up my mind from the start when I started this with Keith kind of gave me the reins and said you do it I'll just keep an eye on things and I wasn't going to lie to anybody and if I didn't know if it was true and I heard it right from the right person I wouldn't bring it up as hearsay I, all I want to give is fact because mm -hmm. all of our lives and hearts are in this you're doing a good job. That's, that's probably really one of the hard. most frustrating mm, things yes. is right now is we're not getting information no. from like the owners. like a blackout. How? Anything. I How only dig to get is information. That? Uh, For you that, that's very okay. difficult. Because the governor forward. pretty much said yesterday that he, he thinks the owner should be more transparent with the employees. Why is our 401k frozen? What's going on with our pension? What, you know, what's going on kind of... He, he, like Joel's post said, he alluded to the fact that there's possibly something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. But exactly. he, he, he all the rumors. Right. Mm -hmm. Some former employees hope that the plant can come back, while others aren't sure if it can. You know, how about let's, let's get on and decide what you want to do with the company. If you don't want it, then get rid of it. You know, the how employees made wood mode. The employees made wood mode. Yeah. yeah. So if, you don't, so if you don't want the company, do something about it. Let the employees that want to come back make wood mode go again. Not, I am not giving up. My, not. My, I'm not giving up. It's, it's coming hopes, back one way or the other. It's coming if, back and I'm going If it to does reopen, this is my fear. 
all these jobs that we're going to put our name in for are paying $12 an hour. Mm -hmm. My fear is, yes, somebody's going to come in and buy that plant, but they're going to want me to come to back over. to where I put my heart and soul in that company, and they're going to say, over. I can only give you $13 an hour to start, and you're not having any vacation. You're day yeah, one, start over. start over. They won't They won't make it. And that's what's going to, that's my fear. That's I'm not trying to, to, to be doom and gloom. But, and you can hold on to hopes to have that start up again, but it's not going to start. The debt is astronomical. The equipment is ancient. Every I day, think it's every, start over. every, but every day on it, and I'm just trying to be yeah. logical, okay? I could be completely wrong. Every day, every day, somebody finds another job. Yes. Yeah. Every day.